hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be about my hair journey i got my last relaxer in 2009 and kind of kept my hair covered or curled just because i was unfamiliar with uh, what styles to do for transitioning by 2011 i stuck with my wet set rod curls overnight air dry and took them out in the morning i got talked into doing a big chop right before my wedding i know tell me about it it was crazy but overall, I did like the look and I kept it for quite a while. Um, I did another big chop or I guess a mini chop around 2013, right before we had our son. And I kind of kept it low maintenance, um, braids and curls and things like that. For the most part, I just kept a layered cut look or I rocked froze from 2013 to 2015. Um, it was really easy to do and like I said, I was still becoming familiar with how to make styles when you're transitioning. Around 2015, the April, June time frame, I definitely stuck with uh, updos, curls, braids, and things like that. I eventually transitioned to uh, Senegalese twists for the summertime just because it was easy, low maintenance, and also my go-to cover up with a hat of some sort. Um, yeah, shrinkage is real. So I rocked a lot of updos in 2015 and braids and mermaids and things like that. By 2016, I noticed that my hair took a definite change as far as texture and curl. Um, I had a diet change. I actually went to a more plant fruit based um, diet and also introduced more vitamin C with rose hemp and MSM in my diet. I definitely saw the texture change in my curls and the length was uh, definitely something that I love seeing. I still did a couple of end cuts, clips, things like that, but for the most part, maintained the long look or the wash and go. Eventually, by late 2016, I started to experiment with wraps and kind of the greenhouse effect and keeping my hair tied up. And then by early 2017, the vegan Renew Glow and tried working with that. So from that point on, that's where I am. I love the results and yeah, like and subscribe. 